Welcome home, everybody. Wookie Legend here. How's it going? We're back with a how-to for beginners with uh, the U.S. Battleship New York. Uh, it's got a nice 356 caliber uh, payload guns. Four in the front, four in the back. Um, I don't know what camo this is exactly, but I think it came. It was one of the specials. Regardless, we have Santa, 10-point captain, nothing crazy. Um, I went with the, I went with the reload, uh, gun feeder, so we can quickly switch with HE and EP. That's because, uh, certain destroyers are going to be coming closer to us, and, uh, we need to quickly switch between that. Uh, that's one thing to do when you're lower tier, because uh, the DDs will be coming close to you. You're not going to be getting torque from far away. Um, I also went with, uh, Grease the Gears to rotate the turrets a little bit faster. Um, I've made them now, uh, 43 seconds for a 180. They're even worse without it, um, because if we're going to be making high turns at slow speeds, which uh, these ships, even though they're short and stubby, they turn really quick. We want the guns to turn even quicker, right? Um, we also went with basics of survivability, which uh, restores uh, restore time, fire extinguisher, and flood recovery is minus 15%, which is fantastic. And then we went with concealment, which then puts our concealment at 14. It'll be giving us a smaller chance, or a better chance to sneak up uh, before we get destroyed from afar because we do have to deal with uh ships that do shoot further than us um we do have a uh, spotter plane though so that's something right um the same thing with um the upgrades i went with uh, main battery modification 2 or the rotation of the turrets and even with both of those we're running at 43 43.5 seconds so other than that u.s battleships like i said they're short and stubby um, best thing about them is they do hit hard, uh, and they turn on a dime because they're short and stubby. If they're longer, they don't turn as fast. When they're shorter, they turn really quick. Um, let's see what kind of uh, signals we have on, flags and signals. I have things here on that you guys probably won't have. They're just fine. Um, we're, we're gonna go with the basics, um, India Delta, and we're gonna go with an India Yankee. The rest... They don't matter really it's your own preference here's a camo that i got it's a specialty one i believe yeah it's this one which is skull for the new york the permanent camo doesn't matter what you put on but make sure to have something on all right here we go i'm gonna get in there and how how to play slow battleships um more centralized you're not really a flanker you're too slow even if they put you on a flank, try to be in between the flank and then the middle instead of outside on the flank. Uh, because you are slow, you're, you, the, the fact that you, your uh, flank might die, you can't run away really from the enemy. So what you want to do is you stay more centralized. You do have decent range and you do have uh, hard hitting guns. So you, you're not you're not a flanker. Just, just remember that. You're not a flanker. So what we need to do is just Maintain a proper position. We're going to crush all the cruisers we can. When we can, we're going to shoot at destroyers. And when we can, we're going to shoot at battleships. Uh, but we're here to kill some cruisers. And hopefully, it'll keep our destroyers alive longer. Now, lately, it is a little bit longer of a wait to get into a match. But I think what Wargaming has done is um, they've made matchmaking a little bit better. Um, so it just takes a little bit longer time. Which, that's a sacrifice I'll take any day, really. Might have aircraft carriers here, so we're probably not going to be all fives, but we'll see. Here we go. Fives and sixes, that's fine. One aircraft carrier, okay. Uh, we're going to struggle a little bit with the Arizona. The rest of them are pretty good. A bunch of cruisers, fantastic. One DD. Cannot go wrong here. Cannot go wrong. We just have to be careful with that Arizona. Um, when you're starting new... Your minimap is this big or so. Make it bigger with the plus and minus, right? And then hold down control, hit the little cog, and make sure to turn all this on. So then you don't have to remember them all. And uh, you'll see all the circles on the minimap, and you'll know what certain ranges are. Okay. All right, we're slow. What we need to do is get around this corner. Get around this corner and head this way, towards this island. A lot of people like to go up here. And do this whole bit. Uh, there's only two caps, so there's no reason for us to go here. 
We're going to go more centralized because then we can also protect the cap. We're going to preemptively turn our guns, the back ones, the back three, to the other side. So when we do come around this corner, our guns are ready, right? A lot of people don't realize that. So I, what I like to do is look this way and then I, I go free look, with the, which is the hard, uh, sorry, the, the right button on the mouse. And then I can look around. But my guns are still turning. See? It all depends on where you look and lock it. That's where your guns will turn too. Just so you guys know too. So knowing that I'm going to be going that way, I want my guns to be like this. So then they're ready to shoot uh, the guys that are going to be right there. I'm going to start turning too. A little bit early. Macaroni's going alone. I'm not going to help him. Omaha's going to go that way too. Okay. Seems like our whole team's going to be going up, which will give us an, enough opportunity to go back this way and not get shot at because they'll be shooting at the rest of the guys going that way. Now, remember, there's nothing over there. So for us to go over there, there's no reason. What we need to do is position ourselves early on because we're so slow. And like I said, we have range. We're at 18 kilometers, and that's without the spotter plane. So as of right now, there we go. Our guns are turned. We're going to start turning. If we have any targets, we're going to shoot at them. So this Hawkins... We're going to go for him right away. I do have HE loaded due to it, me resetting my whole account. Uh, not resetting the account, but reinstalling and installing again. It defaults everything to HE, if you guys didn't know that. But we're going to click on AP, and then we're going to get the line shot lined up. I'm guessing right there. We'll just full volley all of them. Reloads AP. A lot of players see that it's HE, so they're like, okay, I can stay um, broadside a little bit longer. But they can't. Because the next volley most likely will be AP. We're going to say F3 on this guy so then everyone can kill him now. Because we're all shooting at him anyway. Yeah, this guy's just out of luck. Big time out of luck. Yeah, of course he's shooting me. Maybe he isn't. I don't know, he's going for the graph. HE though. Alright, here we go. He is turning nowhere. This guy's in a lot of trouble. He's not leaving. He's engaging us. Yeah. That's fine. Small chip damage is still something. Ping again. Just so everyone's paying attention. This the grass should not be doing what he's doing. That's what that's how the Hawkins got in trouble. Oh, he might be dead here. I have enough people shooting him. Remember, don't get stuck looking like this. You won't see shots coming in. Zoom back out. When you're ready to shoot, then shoot. Uh Ramat is next. Closest targets, guys. Make it easy for yourselves. Closest targets. Those could have been Citadels, but the game said no, which is fine. Which is fine. Notice our whole team's going that way. We don't need to. So while they're being shot this way, we're cross-shooting them that way. And I'm watching the mini-map. There's not a lot of people over there, so we're safe to go this way. We can slow down now a little bit. This guy thinks he might be safe. He is turning away, so I'm going to aim higher. He might not see my shot come in. Maybe he does. Might be too late, though. Shot high because he turned in, which is fine. Again. Okay, he's going far away. Those guys are out of position. We're going to transition to more of a central area. Maybe my, 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 we might even have to shoot these guys over here. Actually, let's go for them right now, seeing as that nothing else is happening. All right, now we slow down. We're in a de decent spot where we don't have to do much. We're not afraid of them because we have this huge island. Uh, they're being occupied anyway by the rest of our team. We've already lost two ships um, due to just going forward way too far. We're going to have to start whittling them down because soon we're going to lose more ships than them. And then it's going to be a even tougher fight. So let's now... Switch to only battleships, unless we have a shot on a cruiser. And get them as low as possible, so later on, when we're engaging them, we have more health in them, and hopefully a bigger chance. Fire on the enemy warship. Now I'm going to ping him, because it's just me, Texas, and Aoba. Aoba's almost dead, which is unfortunate. That Nuremberg isn't a problem, so I'm going to leave him for now. Hopefully I'll get a good shot here. He ate a Torp, which is fantastic, and he's going broadside to us. Oh, there's the big damage we needed. There's the big damage we needed. Perfect. He's out of commission. This guy's full broadside. 
Now, we keep losing ships. Uh, hopefully soon they will too. See if he's after me, that's fine. Uh, Ramat's gone. This guy should be gone too. I don't know why we're having troubles killing him. But let's reposition. There we go. He's gone. Fantastic. But our, the grass is also gone, which is fine. Alright. Nuremberg and uh, this Dutch cruiser are still here, which is fine. That's not a problem for us. All right, we're doing good. Putting shots at him just to reposition ourselves. Still no citadels, but heavy damage. Now I'm gonna turn the ship, not the turrets here, because I want to ma uh, maintain um, movement. Even though we're slow, we still want to move around. Uh, the CV did come at us already once, and we don't want that again uh, because we were stationary. But here we go. This should be enough. And turning back in. Okay, that was enough. We are somewhat coming back from this fight. If we get rid of him, it'll be a lot easier for us, definitely. No, we can't, okay. Our DD we lost due to him trying to cap while their whole team is there. It doesn't really work that way. Um, it never will. But you got to learn the game at one point. And uh, just going to the base doesn't really do that okay we are gonna go like this just so we can see a little bit better when the little mountains are gone we have a clear view to shoot this, this is just gonna be a harder game now because our guys just yoloed into them so we're gonna try our luck on killing him and then there's one two cruisers another cruiser and the rest of them are battleships so as long as we maintain a lot of health here on these mid games, it's it's about mid time now. It's been 12 minutes, not 100% half, but enough. We just hope that um, RNG is on our side and uh, we can get some better damage here. Not really. Small chip damage. It's not the worst. They do still have a DD too. I don't know how much health he has left. So we have to be very careful there. But there we go. Ayoba presented himself. Oh, just for a split second. Oh, thank you. He decided to shoot me too. Out of danger, bud. Alright, here comes the ranger again. As long as myself and the Texas stay close. Uh, we have a huge chance of winning this. Because what happens is the DD can't kill us both. He's going to have to try to kill one of us. But he won't be able to kill both of us at the same time. So. I'm going to try to keep hitting this guy. I'm going to take a guess here. Where he could be. No. Problem is, the Dutch cruiser is smashing him. Oh, okay, we got the Yoba. Playing the game long enough. Helps you make those shots. I kind of knew that he was turning. He really made it clear that he was turning. So uh, I just shot where he could be, potentially. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's not luck. It's a little bit of skill. But for the most part, it's luck. For the most part. Okay, Ayoba. Uh, sorry, Ayoba. Um, Omaha's easy to kill here. He's got no armor. So, yeah. We just have to shoot him. Have to shoot him. Okay, I think we need to go for uh, Dunkirk's too fast. So we need to get rid of this, or we got to get out of this position where we're broadside. For now, we're okay because no one's shooting at us, but soon. Soon. And we know that the DD's coming. Uh, that's not where I shot, but okay. It's a Dutch cruiser, okay. Okay, Texas, I don't know why, I, don't, I really don't know why he's pushing. There's really no point, because he's going to the DD. Like, the DD's going to be over there. So, it's like, why are you pushing the DD? There's really no point. You're going to be alone, I can't help you over there.
Gonna take a torp here. Which is fine. We're gonna get rid of this flood. While he's still alive, I'm gonna try to kill him. I need to kill this Congo as soon as possible. We are bringing the game back. Oh, never mind. Priorities have changed. We need to kill this guy right now. Uh, he has airstrikes, and airstrikes cause a lot of fires, and fires are a big problem. Uh, he doesn't have torpedoes, which is fine. If it was a different cruiser, I'd be probably more worried. But I'm not worried at all. No citadels again. Our shells went high for some reason. And again, our shells went high. Not understanding why. Sometimes RNG just decides to not give you anything. Even if you know how where to aim, it's just a struggle. Alright, we're going to make it so it's a 1v1 still. Our Texas went down. Our Texas went down to the Arizona. Arizona's far away, but regardless, Texas went down. There's a strike. I'm not going to put away the fire yet. We're going to get rid of him. I can't put away the fire anyway. Did we bypass it? We did bypass it. Thank goodness. Alright, re repositioning so we can get rid of this Congo. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. There's still the DD here somewhere. He could be here, he could be here. I'm taking a chance going this way. Again, we have no idea where he is. Um, but we have to take a chance here and go this way to reposition. Again, we're staying more centralized, as you guys can see. We don't have to worry about too much of anything else. Uh, we know where the Arizona is. He's the one that has the, the biggest chance of killing us. So there's the DD. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Fantastic. They're going for the CV. Typical new player strategy where if you kill the CV, the game ends. Doesn't really work that way. Now, we're going to present broadside to him. We don't want to. So I'm going to try to actually move away from broadside. We do need to speed up. My cat is bugging me now, though. Let's see if we can present that to him. We can present that to him. Can we go that way, kitty? Let's go that way. Yeah, let's go that way. Hold on. Hold on. Huh. Professional. Professional. This kitty likes attention, so what she does is uh, she bites the wires. All right, he had his luck. 10k back. Promise he's still broadside to me. And unless I really buff, uh, I messed this shot. Buff this shot. Unless I really mess this shot up. Should have him. There we go. There's our Kraken. That's five kills for Kraken. And all because we positioned ourselves correctly this entire time. Now, again, we have to position ourselves correctly and we have to move back in towards these islands so we can 1v1 him. We don't want to 1v2 him in the Arizona. We will not survive that. I don't care how lucky of shots we get. We just won't survive it. And even now, being broadside, we're taking a massive chance. He's got smaller guns than me, I believe. So, I have a, a second here to correct myself. There's only two of us. We do still have to uh, deal with the DD, but if we can deal with him and deal with the Arizona, the DD is going to be no, no problem. Oh yes, and there's the CV too. The RCV didn't move fast enough away. Even though he knew that they were, they, were, they were coming. This guy's full health. It's going to be almost impossible game. And dispersion's not on our side. Yeah, dispersion is definitely not on our side. Oh, wow. Look at that shot. Very nice. It looked like it was high. He still got full damage on me. And that's the game. It's that simple. If our guys didn't YOLO in early, we on honestly could have won, won this one. It wasn't impossible. Um, but because they went just forward, 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 forward. Yeah. Unfortunate. But there you go, guys. Enjoy. Take it easy. Stay more centralized. And pick your shots. Pick your positioning. And you'll have a lot of success. Goodbye from me.